your exclusive startup business coach and I want to come in and talk to you guys about how you can sell your digital products with Dropbox and PayPal okay let's just put a couple of disclaimers out there number one you are going to need to have a business account with PayPal number two when you start new business accounts with PayPal there is a hundred and eighty day hold that are that's put on new accounts so you can't withdraw any money within the first 180 days. Also, if something that you are selling violates PayPal's policy, they will put a 180 day hold on your account. You must contact payment resolution or PayPal resolution to find out why they may, they may have a 100 day hold on your account. The next thing you're gonna definitely need to have is a Dropbox account to upload a product. So you guys, let's, go over to Dropbox. So you guys say you have your Dropbox and you are going to upload something that you're gonna be selling. You're either selling a video, a PDF, an audio, okay? So for the sake of this example that I'm showing you guys, let's go over and I'm going to upload a PDF, right? This is gonna be the PDF that I'm going to grab the link for and put it over into PayPal and I'll be showing you guys that. So right now, let's just upload the product that I wanna upload. So I'm gonna go on the right-hand side. We're inside of Dropbox. So I've signed in, I'm in here. I'm gonna click Create New File. No, sorry. I'm gonna click Upload Files. And then you guys, I am going to go to my desktop because I want to upload the Pretty Money Gang Entrepreneur Starter Kit. So I'm going to hit open and that is going to upload. You hit upload and now you guys see at the bottom of my screen, it's uploading to Dropbox. So it's already here, it's uploaded. So I'm going to go click share. Then at the bottom where it says can view, you're going to click create link. Now. I'm going to click copy link. All right, so I have the link. Now you guys see here at the bottom where it says equal zero, one of uh, the viewers, one of the, one of the viewers of the channel um, explained to me that if you hit equal one, if you change this zero, equal zero to equal one, when you share this link with your clients or your customers, it's going to automatically download to their device. If you leave it here as zero, uh, as equal zero, what it's gonna do is it's gonna first take them to the link and then they're gonna have to click download, right? So it's up to you how you want to do it. You can hit z equal zero, which means that they're gonna get access to the link and then they'll have to hit download. But if you change this to zero one, your client is going to get the immediate download. It's going to immediately download when they start to click this link. So we're gonna grab this link, you guys. And now we're gonna head over to PayPal. You guys, so you have signed into PayPal. At the top, you will see tools and you're gonna go down to all tools. So you'll click all tools and it's gonna take you to the all tools page. Then you're going to go down to PayPal button. Now, inside of PayPal, there are some new features, you guys, where you sell products. But the thing about selling these products, clicking this button means that you're going to have to sell it on the, the sites that they have a partnership with, right? So we're not going to click that. What we're going to click here is PayPal buttons. You're going to pretty much be creating a button which is gonna turn into a link that you can send to somebody or you can place on your website or embed on your website or place as the link in your bio on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc. So you're gonna hit buy now. And it's gonna take us to the buy now page. And pretty much you're gonna name it. So I'm just gonna put tester. I'm going to make this $20. And if you want to, you can go through the tracking inventory and process. It's optional. But what we really want to get to is the custom, custom, customized advanced features. So you're going to go down 
to the point where it says take customers to this URL when you finish checkout. Now remember the URL we got from Dropbox. Remember this right here? We're going to copy this and we're going to paste it into here. And remember what I told you guys about this. If you want to, at the end of this URL, you could change this from a equal zero to a one. And when they, they do this, what it means is that they're gonna click this link and it's going to automatically download to their device. If you want to, you can leave it like that. Click, you know, you have to check mark it. So that's gonna be what they have. You're gonna click the create button. Then the create button is gonna give you two options. It's gonna give you an option to embed on your website or it's going to give you an option for an email which is this is going to be your link you're going to take this link and this is what you're going to give to your clients or post on your social media or website if a client wants to buy a particular product from you that you are trying to sell through dropbox so i'm going to do an incognito page to show you that this link works so it's incognito, I'm gonna copy and paste that link we got from PayPal, which is gonna be your selling link. And as you guys can see here, this is the $20. This is me to, if I was a, the customer buying this, I would enter this and pay the $20 for the item. So you guys, I hope that this was helpful.